Have you ever woke up with a very obtrusive thought in your mind and you're like, oh my gosh, Ralph, where did that come from? Like, how can I get rid of these negative thoughts? Are you always overthinking, deep divers? Are you like mind? Can you please stop thinking so much? Gosh, I just want like a moment's silence. Thank you. Thank you, mind. Oh my gosh, you've started again. <laughs> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again, beautiful deep divers, we are out here in nature, baby, in a stunning new location, Jurassic Park 2, we're just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby, I'm sending you tons of tranquility, that's all deep divers, because the cat down the road told me you need it. Because you have been up all night thinking about this and that. Okay, just take that, take that, take that good ass energy. Deep divers, how to clear your mind and trust the universe. Are you always ruminating? Are you always overthinking? Do you always get those really strange thoughts in your mind and you're like why am i thinking this like how come my mind is so full right now it's so busy ralph what is going on deep divers i was there but after this video your mind is going to be so clear it's going to be unbelievable and we ain't even had breakfast yet can i get a hello <laughs> Now, wonderful deep divers, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Clear my mind and trust the universe. I did a video a while ago called How to Clear Your Mind, okay? I was in the Cape Verde Islands, and when I arrived on the islands, I felt so at peace. My mind was slowly becoming less cluttered, and I got inspired to do that video. But ever since that video, I have received literally thousands of messages from people who are telling me about a very, very noisy mind, that their mind is always full of junk. And they're like, Ralph, like, please do another video on clearing your mind. Deep divers, the mind doesn't become clear by itself. The mind will only become clear when you practice the art of clearing your mind. It starts like this, deep divers. Your environment is essential for your peace of mind. The right environment. There's a reason why I make videos in nature. Not only is it so stunning out here, but because it helps me to clear my mind. The feng shui, which is the water and the wind, okay? Feng shui is a ancient Chinese practice of how you arrange certain objects in a room will actually influence the energy of the room or how things are arranged in nature will influence the energy flow, which also will impact our mind state. To clear your mind, deep divers, make sure you are in a peaceful environment right now. Like, go into nature right now, I'll wait for you. Run, run, deep divers, run. Okay, you there? Oh, you're still in bed. Never mind. Deep divers, <laughs> our environment becomes a reflection of our mind. So, where I am right now in Jurassic Park, so much nature here, so much good energy. My mind is clearing. It's becoming empty because 
There is so much space here. Your environment becomes a reflection of your mind state. So, empty space, okay, lots of green, lots of trees, not so cluttered around here. This will directly influence your mind to vibrate on the same frequency. It's magnetism. Now, concrete jungle. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Okay, I used to go to university right in the city. Okay, right in London City, University of Westminster. And I was in Oxford Street like every day for a long time, many years, right? So I know all about hustle and bustle. We pick up other people's thought forms, their emotional states, their mental states. And this is why so many people have a very chaotic mind in the matrix because you are absorbing other people's unwanted energy because of the environment you're in. So you have to be mindful. Empty space, empty mind. Busy space, busy mind. There is a monkey in your mind. Oh, you didn't know about the monkey in your mind, deep divers? Yeah, they call it the monkey mind. And this monkey mind never ever goes to sleep. It's actually your subconscious mind, okay? And it's always alert, it's always active. And this monkey mind, you can say, hey, stop thinking that, go away. But it doesn't go away, deep divers. It just brings more thoughts you don't want because resistance makes stronger. So a trick to really calm your monkey mind is to let the monkey mind stay up all night. <laughs> let the monkey mind think and think and think and think and think and think and think until eventually it falls asleep. <laughs> Realize deep divers today, there are no good thoughts or bad thoughts. When you realize that, that's how to clear your mind. People are trying to push certain thoughts out of their mind. And that's why they keep coming back. The secret is to be in a place of neutrality. When you realize that you are not your thoughts, you are the observer behind your thoughts, everything changes. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. So stop identifying with every single thought you are thinking. It's not you. Who am I then, Ralph? You are the observer behind the thoughts. Start identifying with that. The all-seer, right? <laughs> the one who is observing everything. You see, to clear your mind, deep divers, realize this today. Our body is the subconscious mind. I started to clear my mind, deep divers, when I realized this simple secret. The body affects the mind. I developed what I call total body awareness. And oh baby, it includes, you guessed it, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. That's right. It involves becoming connected, reconnected to your breath, the breath of life, the good ass prana. And I do this by inhaling deep from the base of my spine. I breathe for four. I hold for four, then I release for four. And this helps you develop total body awareness. In other words, it puts you into, it puts you into a state of mindfulness meditation. Meditation, mindfulness meditation is the best way I've found to clear your mind. So many times when we think of meditation, we think of just falling asleep, right? No, mindfulness meditation is where you are alert and aware. 
In other words, you become present. And that's how you open the gift. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. The more you absorb yourself in the present moment, what am I listening to right now? What am I looking at? What am I inhaling? You are now in total body awareness. You're not having an out of body, an out of body experience. You're having an, you're having an inner body experience, right? Total body awareness. Now you are tuned in. You're not tuned out. And that's how to clear your mind. Start tuning in. Another exercise I use is really just listen to your heartbeat. Place your hand on your chest and then just breathe in and out. Okay, you got it. You got it already, deep divers, right? So you're paying very close attention to what's actually happening inside of your body. Why is this so powerful when it comes to clearing your mind? Because many times we are thinking of things we can't control, which are outside of us. So to clear your mind, you have to let go of everything outside of you. In other words, everything beyond your control. Oh, baby, what do I control? My internal condition, my emotional state in the present moment. I control that. And that's how to clear your mind. Let go of the bills that need to be paid. Yeah, and you also owe me money, but don't worry about it. Because right now it's your time to reconnect with the amazing being you are, the spiritual being having a human experience. When you realize this secret, deep divers, mindfulness, we can have mindfulness experiences, seven day vegan challenge, even when you are eating oranges, peaches, pears, mangoes, lemons, and limes. But are you eating every time you are eating? Many times we aren't eating. We are thinking of various other things, therefore allowing ourselves to become disturbed. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. So deep divers, mindfulness eating is where you learn the art of mastication. <laughs> Not masturbation. Mastication. The art of chewing your food, being one with what you are consuming, this source of energy, and only eating, not doing anything else. You see, I started to clear my mind when actually on the dinner table one, one night, I actually turned my phone off when I was eating, closed the door, and all of a sudden, I was just eating for the first time, really tasting the food, really tasting those cherries full of anthocyanins, which prevent cancer. And I was having such an orgasmic experience. The cat down the road was like, Ralph, you're embarrassing yourself. I'm like, no, I'm not, right? <laughs> to clear your mind, deep divers, make sure you're only doing one thing at a time. A lot of us, we have a lot of priorities. We don't have a priority. To clear your mind, only have one priority at a time. Only do one thing at a time. I'm only ever doing one thing at a time. No, you're, no, you're not, Ralph. You're holding your finger and you're breathing at the same time. No, deep divers, my subconscious mind is taking care of me breathing in that good ass prana while I'm talking. How to clear your mind, deep divers. Is your mind full or is it mindful? Check this out, deep divers. A lot of us, we have a mind full of crap, but we could actually have a mind full of wonderful experiences. Let me explain. Mindful or mindfulness meditation. I've always got my mind full. <laughs> I'm always mindful. And that's how to clear your mind. Make sure you are in that state of mindfulness. 
really paying attention to what is happening right now. Not what happened yesterday, not what's gonna happen tomorrow. No, what is happening in this moment? You gotta put down the phone because that's why a lot of us, we aren't concentrating. You're not looking where you're going. Oh my gosh, you've just bumped into a lamppost. Okay? We have to ground ourselves. That's how to clear your mind. Plant your feet. Get into nature. Do a little samba, baby. I've realized this, deep divers. The less you judge yourself, the more you clear your mind. When you learn how to let go of society's expectations, you learn how to clear your mind. When you stop trying to be something you're not, you learn how to clear the mind. When you accept yourself as you are, you learn how to clear the mind. It's all about the relationship you have with you. That's how to clear your mind, become your best friend, learn how to love yourself today. How to clear your mind, deep divers. We clean our room, okay? We clean our room, we spring clean, we clean the house, we wash our clothes, we iron. You have to wash yourself today. Am I clearing my mind? That's what you have to wash yourself. Am I clearing my mind? By cleaning my mind. You wash the plates, but do you wash your mind? Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. So once I learned the art deep divers off a daily cleanse of my mind, which means I have to let go of accumulating, accumulating junk, toxicity. And that means I've got to switch off everything external to me and really have an inner body experience. That means no television, no phone. This is all before I go to bed, right? No external stimulation. We have to make sure all there is is us and we are only interfacing with something organic. Many times I'm listening to 432 Hertz music. This helps to clear my mind. I'm also cleaning my mind every single day by being very selective with what I allow into my mind. You don't invite everybody to your party, so why invite everything into your mind? Oh my gosh, deep divers say no! Stop right there. Okay, it's border control. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell out of here. That's how to clear your mind. Deep divers, so there you have it. Realize this today. When you are in a state of neutrality, when you are neutral, when you are letting go of the judgment of the thoughts you have, the shame that you have, you will learn how to clear your mind effortlessly. And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers. We're just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everybody who's been rocking the amazing good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes. Got a question for me, deep divers? Add me on Instagram at infinite waters and the model search is on. If you are a sexy ass model, woo, with a lot of heart, add me on Instagram at infinite waters. Oh, I like this one, Ralph. Well, check out the new book, deep divers, for more information like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon. Deep divers, the mind is a beautiful servant, but a dangerous master. Allow your heart to guide you. Have a beautiful day. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep. Once again, stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You. Mindful or mindful? Mindfulness. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Peace.